Hi, today we are heading to Hazan, which is about 250 kilometers from Kabang. We caught this minibus at about 7.30 and arrived in Hazan at about 4 p.m. So you're looking at a 10 hour bus trip to travel the 250 kilometers. As this bus actually runs from Kabang to Donban, we had to get a connecting bus along the way. The video in this episode is filming countryside from the bus. It is an extended video so you can enjoy as much as you wish to watch. So sit back and take a seat on the bus and watch the beautiful scenery that you pass through when travelling from Kabang to Hazan by Highway QL34. We are heading to Hazan to do the Hazan loop. As you can see out the window, it is a little bit clearer today and you can see the mountains a bit better. It actually rained during the night and early this morning in Kabang. And what happens during winter, um, the farmers and the villagers do a lot of burning. You know, they're clearing the land for their new fields, they're preparing um, their existing fields for planting, um, so there's a lot of weeding, also, the villagers are burning their rubbish because there's no rubbish collection here, so they have to burn the rubbish. Um, and then uh, after it rains, um, the smoke clears and you have some nice clear days. It takes a few days after the rain for the fires to start again and you're back to getting the smoke haze. So if you can choose what time of year to come to Hazan to do the Hazan loop, um, when do you choose? I don't know. Every season has its advantages and disadvantages. In winter you get a lot of fog and sometimes the fog so thick that you can't see much of the scenery at all. Um, we've been lucky not to experience any fog, just the smoke haze. But yeah, if you came in summer, you would get the rain and the days would be lovely and clear, I believe, once the rain stopped. And it's beautiful and green, but it rains a lot. And, you know, if you choose to do the loop on a motorbike, do you want to be on a motorbike for four days in the rain? And then uh, I, I think we chose mid-February because it's the end of winter, so it's not hot. It's still cool but not cold like you can get in the middle of winter. Um, hopefully the fog's not as bad, there's not as much rain and that's why we chose to come uh, mid-February at the end of winter.
The bus to Don Van travels along Highway QL34 and then turns onto the QL4C at a small village called Le Bon, which is located at the junction of these highways. As we needed to continue along the QL34 to Hazan, this is where we transferred to the connecting bus. Mind you, we knew none of this when we boarded the bus, but obviously the conductor knew and they tell you in their broken English to, where to get off. And as it is also a stop for the bus driver, they wait until the other minibus comes. When we arrived in Hanoi, we were watching the weather, so we wanted to try and time it as best we could so that we didn't get any, um, you know, we didn't want to be riding the bikes in the rain. So, um, yeah, so we're watching the weather and then we had a few days to spare. We wanted to time it so that we would get up here um, basically this weekend. And we had a few days to spare, so that's when we decided to go by Kabang and do the waterfall and Angel Eye Mountain and um, yeah and then head, head over here. At one stage we were thinking about going the other way and doing uh, going up through Barbie Lake system or Barbie Lake and getting to Hazan and then doing the loop and then going over to Kabang but oh no it just it just this is what we chose to do so we've um, this is what we're doing so yeah, that's why uh, that's why we're heading to Hazan anyway because it's um, it's been my my um, it's just something that I've wanted to do since 2008. I wanted to come to Vietnam to do the Hazan loop. I'd like to do it on a motorbike. Um, not sure if I'm going to do it on a motorbike. Definitely not going to ride a motorbike ourselves. So it will either be on a tour with. Uh, a group or we're even contemplating hiring a um, hiring a car not to drive ourselves but hiring a car and driver so um, we'll have to see about all that because we haven't booked anything we haven't um, uh, so hopefully when we get to Hazan we'll be able to pick up a either a tour um, a car something and um, yeah we were thinking we'd like to leave to do to, to, to leave to do the loop tomorrow but I don't know I think times it's going to be too late by the time we get into Hazan to be able to do that so we're gonna tomorrow we'll go around and try and contact or see what we can come up with um, and aim to leave to do the loop on um, the next day um, oh and by the way you notice I'm actually calling um, uh, where we're going a lot of people call it Hajian because uh, that's when you look at it, when you see the spelling of it, we just naturally think it's Haz, Hazian or Hazian. Um, but I've discovered it's Hazan, Hazan. I'm still probably not pronouncing the right, you know, um, yeah, pronunciations on the tongue and stuff like that. But it is Hazan, uh, not Hazian. So if you hear me talking about Hazan, you probably know it as Hajian. Um, and that's the other thing too, because the waterfall that we went to see um, outside of Kabang, um, when you look at the spelling of that, you would think it would be, it would be Banjiok. And most people from overseas know it as Banjiok because that's when you read it. That's what I thought it was, Banjiok. And it's actually Benzo. So, um, you know, that G is often as Z, 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 you know. So Ben, um, yeah. Ben Jok, Ben Zo, Hajian, Hazan, um, and obviously Ko Bang is how you would look at it and read it, is Kabang. Uh, just a few little things that we've picked up just in the few um, days we've been up the north here. So it's actually funny because when I was in Hanoi and I was um, you know, talking to the travel agents and stuff like that, when we booked our bus from Hanoi to Kabang and I was going, oh yes, we want to go and see the, the um, Banjiok Falls and then we want to try and get over to Hashian 
and they're looking at me, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I should have been saying, yes, we want to go and see the Benzo waterfall and then we want to head over to Hazan and they might have known what I was talking about. But anyway, just a little bit of, um, yeah, miscellaneous information.